We're here for an impromptu periscope. Let's see if anybody else is on. We're gonna give it just a little bit of time. Anybody else do it? Hey, Mary Fran, whoop, whoop. How are you, girl? Let's see if there's anybody else that can get on here for a little periscope party. Hey, Court. I really, is there a way to like play music like while you're waiting for periscope to happen? Because if so, we would totally have a dance party right now. Hey, friend. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Okay, I'm going to switch it around. Ready? Hold on. Ooh. Hello. How are y'all? So good to see everybody. It's like when you see Periscope on you, you're like, oh, I need to fix my hair. <laughs> but welcome to Kristen's monthly must-haves. It's so much fun to gather and to share um, some of my favorite things that I have found this month. Hi, everybody. Um, well, Courtney, that is a very sweet thing. I just put on some lipstick, but I have not refreshed my makeup. Um, but, you know, we're rocking and we're rolling and we've had fun day. We've had work. We've had kids. We've had Zaxby's in like 10 minutes and then um, church. And so now we're home and all tucked in bed. Um, but one thing I just wanted to do is to pop in and tell you some of my monthly must-haves and just things that I love and things I just want to share with you. And with it being the last day of September and tomorrow's the first day of fall, who's doing a happy dance? Even though it feels like 80 degrees here, it's fall. So anyways, um, most of my things are fall themed, but this is a huge like jewelry month, guys. I picked up some great jewelry um some of the things oh from brazil hi so glad you're here um most of these things that i'm going to share about you can find online most of them are in season but other things um are just things i've had in my closet and just love but i think you can find something similar to it so let's go ahead and get started i'm going to try to do 10 things maybe in 10-ish minutes so because i know we're all busy and stuff so let's get started the very first thing as i said is a jewelry month and the very first piece of jewelry that i want to share with you is this stella and dot bracelet can you see can i put it up close look it's got like spikes on it and cute little like gems isn't it cute and you can put it on your wrist and I love to like add other gold jewelry with it it's so cute y'all and what I love is I wear a lot of like pastels and like sweet kind of things I tend to be more on the sweet side so this like it's like my rocker like yes I can rock it and it gives it kind of that edge you know where you kind of blend the two things um, low battery. Okay, we really got to do it in 10 minutes. So, I love this Stella and Dot bracelet. It's one of the cheaper Stella and Dot items. You know, sometimes their jewelry can get kind of expensive, but I think this one was under like $50. And so, like, I felt really good about my purchase because I wasn't like blowing the bank, you know? Um, so Stella and Dot, a gold little bangle. And as you can see, we'll just kind of keep going down my wrist here. Um, I've got this other bracelet on right now. And you can see it's kind of like a, hi, everybody. We're just getting started on these must-haves. So come join the party. Share what you love, too. Um, this is a bracelet that I found. Um, actually, my friend Christy, she had one of these bracelets. And we were going to a conference. I was like, that is so cool. And you can see it's a bunch of like leather straps tied together. Um, oh, yay, we're getting some red hearts. I hate it when they're like that poopy color. Um, but y'all, this is from a company called Good Works Makes a Difference. Dot com. And what's great about these bracelets is you can buy them and then some of the money goes to a good cause. Hey, Heather, glad you're here. So, you know, you're buying something and it's helping other people. So it's called Good Works Makes a Difference dot com. And this is kind of a thicker bracelet. I don't have a lot of thick bracelets, um, so I kind of liked it 
see how it just all kind of comes together? But they have them in gold. They have them in, in like a white cream, kind of like my watch here. Um, just lots of really cool things. And they got different size straps. And they have different Bible verses on them. And some are like power words too. But this Bible verse, I just loved it. It kind of went along with my theme. Um, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. And it's Isaiah 61. So, it's like this cool little message, you know, to keep you going throughout the day. And I just love it. So, those are my first two jewelry items. Um, the third thing that I wanted to share, and this is just super simple. Who has pumpkins out yet? Does anybody have pumpkins? Um, I don't have any pumpkins yet. I hope to get some this weekend, but until then, I did start some of my fall decorating inside the house. I had some friends over last week for dinner, and so I was like, yay, I can get all my fall things out. It's going to be so much fun, and I am very simple when it comes to fall. I don't really steer on like the orange and black side. I kind of stick with more neutrals because our house is really neutral. And um, I'm sure y'all seen this on Pinterest. Um, it's not anything brand new, but I just love it. Um, I love just taking a mason jar and filling it up with different beans that you can buy at Publix. I mean, it's so simple. You put a few pumpkins out, yeah. Sometimes when we put them out early, they do kind of ruin, but who cares? I mean, it's fall. If you can have them, get them. I'm gonna get them this weekend. Um, but yeah, this is just a super simple little decoration. I put it on my kitchen table. Our table's kind of like a farmhouse table, and so I really like it. Um, and I have it on this little white rustic board. And then I stick just a little votive candle inside of it. Hi, I don't know what you said, but hello. And then um, I tie it with a piece of burlap string. I do a little double tie. Super simple, super easy. And then we live in the country. So we have a lot of cotton that's growing right now. And so, hello, free cotton. Get the um, decorations outside. Um, I've just kind of got it in a glass, but really cute. Last week, I had it with some flowers, some um, like purple and pinkish and green flowers that were kind of vintage-y looking. Um, they were vintage carnations. And, ooh, yes. We like that. Huge pumpkins at Sam's Club. Have to remember that. But um, I just put some flowers in with uh, this this cotton, and it was so sweet. Oh, thank you, friend. I'm glad that you got to stop in. So simple, easy, rustic um, decorations. You love cotton, too. Yes. I mean, it's there. Why not use it? Um, I used it last year when we had our little boys um, christening. Uh, we had a brunch at our house afterwards, and I bought some of those blue pumpkins, and um, the, like, pale blue and the white pumpkins, and then I used cotton, and it was so in, like, the um, little, the burst of flowers, um, the little white, uh, what's it called? Queen, Queen Elizabeth or... Anyways, baby's breath, yeah, that. And I put it up there, it was so cute, it was so simple. So, fall decorations. Okay, let's get back on to some other fun things. Um, for the house, who's obsessed with Target? Raise your hand. Target, love it, yes, yes. Well, Target has these really cute, and excuse me, you can tell we have been using it at home. They have these really cute um, tea towels um, that you can put out. And this is kind of like a navy blue. It kind of looks black right here. But um, they have these really cute tea towels. I know, I love them. And they have this whole set. I think this is the threshold. Let me look and see. Yeah, it's the threshold. Um, design company that they use and they have um uh what's it called that goes on your table uh, it's 8 30 at night here i'm kind of running low um placemats hello they have placemats that go with it and they have it in this color and kind of like a burnt orange and so uh, yes a run or two thank you um and then they have some that have like cows on it and then they have the little um like cheese board and all these really cute rustic-y things that i just love and i want like everything that i see because i love target um, hi, we're so glad that you were here. And so this costs like next to nothing, like under $10. I think it was like seven-ish dollars. So I'm looking to expand my collection if they still have them. 
So, gotta love that from Target. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, candles. Yay! We love pumpkin spice and cinnamon spice. Um, there is this company here in Dothan called East River Trading, and my husband got this lovely candle, and it's a candle that is inside of this cute, yeah, y'all like it, don't you? But guess what? The flavor, mm, it's chocolate macaroon. Does that not sound delicious? When my husband, he bought this for me, when he saw chocolate and macaroons, he was like, Kristen's going to love it. And I do. It's just the perfect scent to have burning in your kitchen. Like if you've got guests coming over and it's just really relaxing. And so, um, yes, um, East River, Heather, um, her cousin owns it. And it's just a great, like, small business here in town and it's fabulous and I think they have a website and they sometimes are at different shows and stuff but try the the chocolate macaroon um, I really love it and it gives you that fall smell even though it might not be pumpkin but it still smells really fall and lovely so yes love that um let's see I wanted to also show y'all I get anthropologies magazine and this is the fall 2015 house and home magazine and i just love looking through the anthropology magazine like i can't tell y'all how happy this makes me <laughs> like i just sit like i had a bad night the other night and i went and i sat in my comfy chair when all the kids were um in bed and my husband was watching tv and I just opened up this magazine, and I can't afford half the stuff in it, but it's so pretty to look at. And I just love looking. It's just inspiring, and they have good messages inside the Anthropology magazine. But one thing that caught my eye, which I thought was just so cool, and it's kind of big in this picture. I think they have smaller sizes. But do you see this pendant? <gasps> Amazing. Do you see it? I'm not getting any hearts. I love it. Look how cute it is in this room. I think it's amazing. But um, I want to put it like in. Thank you for some hearts. I think it's amazing. Um, I want to put this like in our mayor has a similar one. Ooh, I bet it's cheaper. Um, I'll have to check that out. But um, let's see what it's called. It's called a, um, an orb, a faceted orb pendant. And they have different price range, so I think that's because it comes in different sizes. But I think this would look so cool, you know, um, maybe in like an office or like your kid's room even or your bedroom or how they have it in the kitchen. So I just love it. I think it's fabulous, and um, I really want it. So tell somebody that I want that. But super cute, super cute. Okay, we're down to like two must-haves. This has gone super fast. Um, Halloween. What are your kids going to be for Halloween? Have y'all picked out any outfits yet? Anybody? Um, my girls, I think they are going to be whatever they can find inside of their dress-up closet. Wonder Woman. She is a perfect Wonder Woman. Um, or Jesus. <laughs> Amen praise hands. <laughs> love it. Love it. Um, my girls, we have gone back and forth between them being like Tinkerbell and Periwinkle because they're sisters and my girls are twins. So we thought that would be fun. Um, I've tried to get them to be Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz because we have those outfits. Tonight, Marilee pointed out something in a magazine. I was like, I don't know if we can get that. But for my little boy, he's still a baby and he's not really requesting things yet. And so I am such a sucker for the Pottery Barn kids. <laughs> They're not adorable. And I bought Ridley this little puppy outfit today. Look how cute it is. Eee, it just makes me squeal. And when you see it, they've got like, it's like puffy right here. So he's going to look kind of like a little puppy pumpkin. I know. I think it's so cute. And you can paint his little nose. And um, 
Thank you. I think he's got cute little round cheeks. You can kind of see that picture back there, but his cheeks are just really round. And so I think it's going to be so cute. And so I'm just going to dress him up as a pumpkin. We were going between that and a tiger. And I love my Auburn Tigers, and we're even playing on Halloween. And he probably needed to be a Tiger to help us out this season. Heart my Auburn Tigers. But this puppy outfit was just so cute. And so I just went with it, and maybe he can be a Tiger next year if he really wants to be. Um, so I kind of feel like I can still do whatever I want with him right now. So he's going to be a cute little puppy. Um, so anyways, Halloween's coming up, and... I just love to dress up, you know, and that's fun. Um, one last item that I am really in love with, again, jewelry. Um, I don't wear a whole lot of rings um, on my fingers. Um, I kind of stick to my wedding band set, and then I usually have like a pearl ring on or something kind of simple on this hand. But you can see, let me hold it up. Can you see it? Oh, my hands look big the closer you get. Um, but I bought these cute little tiny rings. And one is kind of copper. And this one's kind of copper. And then this one is kind of beveled. Um, you can't really tell. It's kind of hard. But um, they're just these simple, simple rings. And... I got them at um, the IF local leadership gathering, and it's by this company called Consider the Wildflowers. And the wildflowers is spelled like W-L-D-F-L-W-E-R-S, I think. But just type in Consider the Wildflowers, and it should pull up. Um, again, it was pretty... Um, 30-ish dollars, you know, for two rings. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I just love how simple they are. And you can see I've got it with my little um, band. Thank you for all those hearts. And I kind of have on just a little cream, you know, little pe um, peasant-y shirt today. And I had on some um, kind of goldish neutral heels and like platformy heels are cute. Um, so it all kind of tied in the outfit together. And I really just loved um, how simple these rings are. And um, so anyways, and then finally, just a sweet little extra tonight when we were getting in bed, Adeline, she has all these bracelets, y'all, and I don't know if they're really from me or not, but she put it on my wrist tonight, and she said, Mommy, I made this bracelet for you, and I just loved it, and it's, I don't even, these aren't my initials, but my daughter gave it to me. It's got macaroni on it can't get any better than that and so it's just sweet and so that's just an extra yes she's very sweet and she loves her jewelry and loves to be like mommy and wears jewelry so anyways those are my Chris 10's monthly must-haves for September um, I think next month I already know some things I am eyeing in the stores and it's full-on fall oh I have, wait I didn't do it all hold up Hold up, I have two more things. What? Y'all should have told me I wasn't counting right. Okay, quickly. Boots. Boots. Yes, gotta love boots. I love these. The cute little short boots. Um, they have little zippers on the back. Heart. I love them. Um, I completely forgot about my boots, y'all can't forget about boots because I mean these are great to wear with little dresses right now or to wear your jeans kind of rolled up or um, I've got a little romper that's kind of like a long sleeve and then it's got the shorts on the bottom um, that kind of have this gray in it I think I'm gonna try them out with those these are Steve Madden and I got them like two years ago but I still am seeing this kind of low boot all over and I've seen some that even have like a lesser heel and I'm super in love with those, but I don't feel like I can buy them because I already have these. But I've got these boots, and then it's like 80 degrees here in Alabama, but vest. Just, can you stroke it? Can you feel the softness through the screen? This vest, is it not fabulous? Yes, I love it. It's by a company called Jack. And um, if you're in the Wiregrass area, it was um, bought at Eagle Eye Outfitters. But um, what do you think? 
wearing, hi, wearing this with like a little black shirt underneath it and then these boots with jeans or black leggings. How cute, 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 cute. So yes, I love it. And then, you know, it make it even more cute. It might be too much, but wearing like one of those little hats with it, the felt hats with the little black leather. <gasps> I can't wait. I won't be able to wear this till like January, but it makes me feel like I'm up north where it's already icy cold <laughs> in September. So a vest. And vests really are a good lightweight thing because you can wear them, you know, just on top of things and you can layer it and stuff. Uh-oh. Saying low battery again, so I probably need to go. So, those are my must-haves this month. Thank you so much for joining. Do y'all have any questions about any of these things or um, comments? Um, I'd love to hear from you. You can find me online at kristenprice.com. I share um, about weekly blog posts about just life um, and faith and family and being a woman and uh, leadership and ministry. <laughs> it's kind of a bundle of things, but I just love to share Jesus and how I see him in the everyday. And um, right now I've got a free principle. If you go on my website and subscribe to the newsletter, I've got a printable for the year of Jubilee, which I shared about in a Periscope last week. So if you go online, you can read all about it. But, um, Basically, it's just a call to celebrate what's going on in our lives and to confess anything that might be keeping us from experiencing that freedom in Christ. And uh, it's just a lovely reminder um, to have each day to, to celebrate the, the happy even in the hard times. And so uh, that's what's going on right now. And I hope to share a little bit of 31 Days on Instagram. I'm not going to blog about 31 days because I just can't handle that right now because I'm updating my website and working on a few other things. And so, um, but I'm going to be on Instagram sharing for 31-ish days. And so, follow that along. I'm at Chris 10 Price. And if you liked this, swipe it to the right, I believe, or up and down depending on what kind of phone you have and you can share it but anyways guys thanks so much and have a great night and i'll talk to you soon thanks bye like to stop